Hello everyone, welcome back to Ben There, Dan That. Let's take a look at this secret door. Oh my god. This... This is horrible. It's the worst dimension yet. A room full of stuff we've done and said, and that... Oh, the horror. The horror. Relax, chum. This isn't a different dimension, this is just a hidden surveillance room on the ship. Oh, really? Whew. No, wait. That's even worse, isn't it? Could be. Let's explore a little and find out exactly what's going on here. I think I'm hearing the slight sound of a... like a 56k modem connecting. In the background. What kind of ancient technology do they have going on in here? And ooh, a crowbar. Look at me, I'm Gordon Freeman. Woo! You're an idiot is what you are. Whatever, Barney. It's a low-tech computer screen displaying profiles of Dan and me. Although I'm the only one they've deemed worthy of a picture. Under Special Skills, it says here that I'm an excellent leader and get an A at picking things up without examining them thoroughly first. Awesome. What does it list as my special skills? Light switches. Damn it. <laughs> that is pretty much the only useful thing he's ever done, isn't it? What else have I used him for, other than turning off the light? What else have I actually used him for? Is that the only thing he's done the entire game for me? I can't remember anything else. Huh. It's some sort of little panel. And there are currently five lights on it, and they are red. You think those details are important? I have no idea. But I thought I'd better highlight them, just in case, you know? Okay. Okay, red lights, okay. It's not gonna be useful. It's a board full of surveillance photos of us and such like. <laughs> Some weird grammar. And there's also a map here pointing to the precise coordinates of where we live. Most freaky of all, though, is the timeline detailing our precise actions running from the instant we entered the flat. Let me guess. That runs right up to where we are and what we're doing at this precise instant, right? Right? Worse. It seems to run beyond the stuff we've done. Apparently, what we do next is hot spanner, cold gear, then after that, super museum yang. What? Do you know what all this means? What? This means this is definitely our most intriguing adventure yet. I agree, I'm completely intrigued. I can't wait to see what happens next. Well, hot, then cold, then super museum, obviously. Huh. Well, there's certainly nothing super about a boring old museum, that's for sure. No oh, good one. It's an eerie-looking notice board with images of us on it. There's one here of me taking a dump. Who the hell would want a photo of me straining away on the lavvy? No one I can think of, that's for sure. There must be the most brutally horrific aliens in... These must be the most brutally horrific aliens in the universe, surely. Hey, it's us. Oh, look, there's a nice one of you killing that priest in a brutal and horrific fashion. Oh, Jesus. You don't think this whole thing has been some sort of elaborate entrapment sting operation by the Rosers, do you? I'd say it's highly unlikely. Where would they get a spaceship, for starters? You're right. You're right. Whew. Rosers? The hell are the Rosers? It's one of those creepy old reel-to-reel -reel thingies from, like, the 1800s or whatever. I'm so glad you came along. You're like a technological whiz kid or some such, aren't you? Indeed I am, my good friend. Indeed I am. Now listen here, alien. Daniel and I have had just about as much of this as we're going to take. You can just about zap us back to Earth right now, mister. 
Do I make myself quite clear? I don't think that's an alien, Ben. I think it's like a computer or something. Really? It doesn't look like a computer. Yeah, well, that's because it's a very old computer. Oh. Well, I wish you'd said something a little sooner, you know? I went into my whole big spiel about come and get us and, and that. Yeah, I heard. Well, I feel silly now. Oh, no, there's no need to feel silly. It's just not an alien is all. Easy mistake to make. Really? Really? Now let's forget all about it. Thanks. I appreciate that. Not an alien, huh? Huh. Hmm, can I unplug it? No, I can't. Oh god. Oh no, I triggered this again. Oh, what have I done? I'm so sorry. The longest conversation ever. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Okay, well, I don't think there's anything for me to do here, so let's go ahead and open up a new door. Whichever one required the ship. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. What the hell is that? It looks like a sky. Whoa. I can feel the heat blast from here. Oh, is it a desert? Maybe it's a desert. Oh, man, I hope the aliens put a holiday resort dimension through one of these doors. Maybe these are their holiday resorts. Maybe we unknowingly won an intergalactic competition. And they think all these shenanigans would just be... Would just... Would be just as relaxing for Earth folk. Well, in that case, I hope this is the complaints department dimension. Oh no. A dimension where global warming has destroyed the planet. Damn you. Damn you all to hell. I don't think global warming would cause a volcano to just appear like that. Really? Ah, well. We almost learned a valuable moral lesson there. Maybe next dimension, buddy. <laughs> yeah, global warming. <laughs> Damn those greenhouse gases. Now we have volcanoes popping up in every city. Ah, and there is another key. Perhaps if I can make it to the other side, I can pry it out of his cold, dead, well, not cold, a hot, dead hands with a crowbar. Are those pictures? What the hell? I don't, I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. Like, are these just holes in the wall that have, like, frames? Or are they pictures? Or what? I actually don't understand the geometry that I'm looking at here. Anyway, um... It's a bubbling, boiling river of orange-hot lava. You sure? Looks like tomato soup to me. Can it, you? It's lava, alright? Alright, alright. Do I have anything to get me across? Right, I have a thermos. Um... <laughs> I, could g I could gather up some lava into a plastic thermos. Why not? Uh, what? Ah, a thermos full of piping hot lava. Quick, put the lid on, lest it cools. One step ahead of you, buddy. This lava is staying hot. Good to know. Good to know. I, th 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 what? That worked? Uh, I, huh? That was a joke solution. I didn't actually expect that to work. How, what? Maybe it is tomato soup. And someone just turned the heat up too much. Maybe we're on a movie set. Probably not. The fuck do I do with it, though? Great, I have lava. <laughs> okay. 
I still have no way across, though. Nothing I have is even close to large enough. I know, I'll soak up all the lava. Yeah. Yeah. No. You go across. You got any Varukas? That pumice stone will polish them up nice. Nope, I'm clean at the moment. Good to know. Any chance you can use some of your voodoo magic to revive this poor man? Given the vast number of people you've bumped off today, don't you think it's a little late to be getting worried about the one man in the multiverse whose death you're not actually responsible for? That's a good point, actually. I didn't kill this guy. Whew, chuck one up for the Benster. Much as I'd love to carry some scalding hot lava around with me, I don't much think plunging my hand directly into the river of scalding hot lava is the way to for is the way forward. Well, I've already got that taken care of, but again, what the hell do I do with the lava? I... What? And I still have these urinal cakes. Why are they called urinal cakes, by the way? Who would put the name cake in them? Because that just makes me think of food. And now I'm just thinking of, like, a piss-soaked cake, and it's really fucking disgusting. Who would do that? Just, no, don't do that. It's wrong. It's a broken underground sign. Can we get sued for that being there? No, this comes under parody. We're quite, quite safe. Are you sure? Absolutely. Are you a lawyer? Well, no, but I read all about it on the internet. Oh, the internet. Oh, well, that's fine, then. If you read it on the internet... I don't really think that's going to help him, to be honest. Well, I think the bigger issue is that I can't even get over there. I suppose I could pour lava on his hand. Hmm. Yeah, pretty sure nothing I have here will actually help me. Pretty sure. Okay, so where does that leave me? There was another dimension where I didn't quite get everything. This one. Yes. I suppose getting that wouldn't really help me, though, would it? I mean, it's only half of the yin-yang symbol. It's the... The yin, but not the yang. The yang without the yin. Well, as much as I want to grabularize it, there's not much of a point. I'm thinking maybe if I, like, pry up this street lamp, it could fall over and provide a bridge. Suppose maybe the crowbar could do that. The crowbar would probably dent the lamppost, but not take it down entirely. Hmm. How about the lerva? I could melt through the lamppost with the lava. Why don't you, then? Well? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Ah! Look! A teeny tiny label on the lamppost. It reads, Blue Post Street Lighting PLC. This lamppost is certifiable weatherproof, dinosaur-proof, and lava-proof. That's convenient. Isn't it just? I'll have to use some other item, then. Well... Shit. Yeah, I don't think I need to worry about this just yet. What's the only other thing I haven't done? And there is the crown, dude, but... Is there anything here that's actually unlocked the crown? No, I don't think he matters. Okay, so my next goal has to definitely be to get the wrench. I just have no idea how to do that. 
Maybe I can melt the snow here. I don't know what that would accomplish, but I do have lava. Never mind. What's this thing? Wow, those aliens have a wicked cool stereo system. Is that what that is? Seems pretty hefty. I don't think I'm, I'll am i be able to lift it. Besides, I bet I don't have the right adapter at home to plug it in. Probably not. That's a safe bet. Whoops. Out of the game. I have no idea what to do. Alright, I just uh, looked up a walkthrough and it turns out I missed a couple things back here. First thing I missed is, apparently I'm supposed to give these guys these game consoles. I have no idea why, but uh, here you go. Here you go, boys, a slice of retro gaming awesomeness. Retro gaming? Well, it was made by dinosaurs. Fair enough. No idea why I need this bottle, but I'm sure I will need it at some point. I guess I won't be needing this moonshine in order to keep warm anymore. They have the exercise regimen only video games can provide to keep the blood circulating now. Indeed, they'll be happy, healthy people from now on. Build up those muscles. Get some nice cardio. And I'm supposed to get these boards. Ah, carrying this thing around in my pocket is going to make me walk funny. More funny. <laughs> and of course that's going to get me over the lava. Defeat you, larva. I just tried to use my cup of lava on the board. That would have been very bad, because I kind of need to use it for a bridge. Although, isn't it going to burn? No, huh? I guess not. I'm kind of worried about this just catching fire, but it uh, seems to be okay. Ew. <laughs> Harsh. Wow, I actually don't... Uh, the puzzle is getting to him. It's not to do anything with him. I'm kind of surprised by that. Oh my god, that's horrific. What even is it, even? Can't you tell? It's a man all turned to ash and stone by lava. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna puke. Ah, get over it. Okay. Easy come, easy go. I have a bad feeling about this. Get in there, you big furry oaf. Say, this all looks eerily familiar. Your powers of short-term memory really recall astound me. Yes. This would appear to be the exact same place, but frozen. <laughs> Even with the same sign. Okay, well, hot and cold, right? Now I've got a thermos full of lava, so I suppose that would probably melt him. It's some broken turnstile equipment. Well, let's give it a shot. Oh, he's alive, I think. 
crumbs, he looks cold. Look at the way his teeth are chattering. I've got no real desire to run my hands all up and down this man's body. <laughs> he just came out of a block of ice. His flesh must be all clammy. Ugh. Well, I don't suppose I can just grab the wrench or something? Let's chat with him. Nice to meet you. L likewise. Come on, work! Or are you just not paid enough of my taxes? Uh, I'm not moving an inch to f fix the turnstile gear until I have a little something to warm me insides. Trouble is, I d d don't think I'll be finding anything around here any time soon. But that gear needs to come out. I'll c come out the very s it'll come out this very second I warm up. Okay, um... Oh, moonshine, perfect. Stay cool. <laughs> I don't think that'll be a problem for him. Oops. No, no, no. There you go. You like that battery acid? Mmm. You'll be dead in about 20 seconds, but, uh, you know, as long as you get my gear first, I don't really care. So, where did all this ice come from? You don't know. Everyone knew it was going to happen. Well, we were underground around that time, uh, studying lava caverns. Oh, right. Well, it was only these three drunk, uh, mad bloody geniuses, wasn't it? They finally invented something that worked? You bet your ass they did it. You, oh, we can't read anything. You bet your ass it worked. There we go. <laughs> yeah, they were video game programmers or something. Went crazy from too many predictable video games. I knew you were going to say that. They decided to turn Earth into a tedious game setting and made the world leaders choose which one. Slippy slidey ice, hot volcano, a crate warehouse, confectionery product uh, product placement, or American gang stall gang what Stalin what? And they chose ice. Well, the others were just too tedious. We just met a guy who looked just like you. Really? You met Bruce Campbell? Uh, no, he looked exactly like you. Only more tanned. That turnstile isn't getting any more fixed. Well, I can't very well fix the gears while the panel's on, can I? Basic turnstile maintenance, that. Well, take the panel off, then. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you a certified turnstile technician? Well... Are you? Well, no, but... Well, then, you wouldn't know what would happen if I tried to open that panel with a spanner, would you? What would happen? The panel would fail to open. So, seeing as I'm without any other tools, I shall have to stand here and take tickets myself. Have a nice day. Did you just say have a... Have an ice day? Good lord, no. Such puns are beneath us, I assure you. I assure you. <laughs> God. Did he actually say, have a nice day? Because I actually just read it as nice day. I actually read over the pun, I guess. Which might be for the best, because it was a really, really bad pun. Okay, gotta get the panel off. I believe I can do that with a crowbar. I don't need to use anything on this. It's broken, so I can walk right through. Wait, what? Wait, where's the gear? It's inside of here, isn't it? Yeah. Of course it is. Oh, here we go. This panel's screwed on pretty tight. There's a gap at the top, though. I might be able to pry it off with the right tool. A prying tool! <gasps> what kind of tool would be good for prying? A stone! Damn it. Okay, we'll use the crowbar. Bingo! Whoa, looky here, a big cog or gear thing. Wasn't that one of the things for the alien door locks? Sure was, buddy. Let's get it out and half... and half inch it post haste. Eh? What? 
the fuck does that mean? Half inch it post haste. That panel's off now. Look. Aha, uh -huh, indeed it is, yes. Well, I can't stand around here all day. I'd better get to work fixing them gears, hadn't I? Yes, you had. Don't worry about us. We won't steal them. Good to hear, boys. We're gonna steal them. How's it all going? Getting there. I hadn't noticed before how much bigger this sofa is than the door frame. You idiot, we've got these, remember? Oh, yeah. I didn't think of that. Anyway, everything's pretty much set up here. And the entire population of the planet has now played Hello World. And the Hypno Code was successfully integrated. Indeed it was. All that remains now is to send out the signal to activate it. And what of Dan and Ben, our two intrepid adventurers? Practically finished. Excellent news. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Indeed. Well, now that I've stolen his precious gear, I'm just gonna leave. Goodbye. Oh, and now it's time to open the gigantic cow. This should be interesting. I don't know if I want to go in there, but I guess I have no choice. Well, we've done some pretty weird stuff today. But climbing into the mouth of a massive cow's head pretty much tops it, no? Agreed, chum. Let's go. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, boys, you here to see the Yang, too? What? Are you here to see the Yang? Sure you are. Everyone comes to the museum to see the Yang. What the hell is he... Say, what powers did the Yang give you? You know, when it was unearthed. Powers? Yeah, superpowers. Everyone's got superpowers now since they unearthed that mystical Yang. What are yours? Well, I, uh, do a neat trick with a cow's ass. Oh, that's what that was. I thought it was a mite odd. Wait, what's your superhero power? Me? Oh, well, you know, I can fly. Really, that's a pretty cool superpower. Well, sure it is. The human aeroplane, they call me. Well, I'd better be off. Somewhere in this vast metropolis, there's a crime happening. See ya. Bye then, the human aeroplane. Take care, the human aeroplane. Uh... His superpower was not all it was cracked up to be. I think he might be on some crack, though. It's a perfectly normal cow. Except this cow's head coexists in a spaceship in orbit around an alternate version of Earth, where it's approximately five times as large. What's more, this cow's digestive tract acts as some sort of passageway between dimensions, expunging travelers out through its anus. Yeah. Well, other than that, obviously, it's a perfectly normal cow. Well, let's go to the museum. Museum.
Welcome, superheroes. Ah, oh, it's a gigantic T-Rex. Rawr. I'ma get you. That's the second biggest dinosaur I've ever seen. You kill this one too, champ. Doubtful. But not impossible. Doubtless a dinosaur bone would come in extremely handy in an adventure like this. You pull one of those bones out and the whole thing's gonna come tumbling down. And there's no way I'm animating that lot. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Just leave the dino alone, yeah? It'll save me a lot of bother. Uh, okay. No way, no way am I touching him. He's like, made out of liquid. Oh, but he's so cute! Hey, Java. Who? <laughs> blub -a -lub -a -lub. Hey, just because I don't have any internal organs doesn't mean I don't have any feelings. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Dinosaurs are a lot less cool than I used to think. What? These guys are super interesting. I wonder what killed them off. Laser-toting space stations? Sounds pretty unlikely. You're telling us. Who the hell are you? More to the point, what the hell are you? Greetings, fellow superheroes. I'm Bob the Blob. Bob Blah Blah's Blah Blog. What's your superpower? Well, you know how the human body is 60% water? I'm 68%. Oh. So, um, how's that working out for ya? You here to see the Yang? Oh, baby, am I ever. I made the pilgrimage all the way from Canada to see it. You have no idea how difficult it is for me to get comfortable in those airplane seats. Still, at least they don't have to search you at the airport, right? Right you are. So how come you haven't gone in to see the Yang yet? I'm just checking out the dinosaur first, enjoying the anticipation. Also, I have to wait for them to turn the heating off in there, uh, heating off in there for me, so I don't evaporate. Hey, is that a pass I see floating around inside you? Sure is, buddy. I paid a lot of money for this, so I'm keeping it in the safest place I can. Inside your body. Sure. Ain't no one getting at it right here, that's for sure. Hmm, well, we'll see about that. Well, those murderous intentions, buddy. Ah. I'm done asking stuff about you now. <laughs> well, gee whiz, okay. Any other stuff you want to talk about? Look out! Drain! Where? Where? <laughs> Only kidding. Oh, man, that's not funny. Alright, I'll see you later. He's got some very intense eyes. They're piercing. What does this plaque say? Apparently nothing. That door leads to the outside world. Outside! Outside! That door leads to the shop. It's closed off to the public. Pfft. Who cares? Just go in there anyway. I can't go that way. It's closed. <laughs> What's that? Uh, why is that stopping you? Crazy mad thief and murderer that you are, a small barrier shouldn't be much of a problem. Yes, but there's one of those little velvety ropes in the way. Uh, there's simply no getting past those. True. <laughs> okay. Uh, what if I cut it? I'm pretty sure you just can't go in there, but, uh, you know, let's try it anyway. Snippity snippity. No amount of cutting will get me past that little barrier. This is a no-go area. Sorry. She's wearing a badge that reads, Ask me about the forgotten element. If I ask her about the forgotten element, she'll know I've been looking at her tits. <laughs> no, no way, I'll just remember to Google it as soon as we're done here. <clears throat> Who are you? I'm Mia the tour guide. No, I mean your superhero name. 
Yeah, Mia the tour guide. What's wrong with that? Nothing, nothing. Uh, good name. So, what's your special power? I can be entertaining and educational. At the same time. Hmm, it's a nice power. <laughs> Pretty much all the questions have to do with her rather large breasts and her rather small top. Uh... Might I say what a lovely blouse you have on? No. Uh... I have to exhaust the dialogue options, they might lead to something. It's an adventure game, you have to. Isn't that tight, low-cut low outfit a little gratuitous? You can't talk, you're not even wearing any trousers. Huh? Oh, no I am, they're just stylized. Yeah, I was about to say, what? Has he not been wearing pants the entire time? I, I doubt would you like to go on a date with me is gonna lead anywhere, but uh, just in case. That depends, what are your superpowers? Ooh, okay. Um... Um, I fight like a cow and sting like a bee. How appropriate. You look like one, too. True enough. <laughs> the only option to leave the conversation is, I'm through talking about you all the time. Fine by me. Say, why is the shop closed? Who wants trinkets and toys now we're all superheroes? Also, Stan the Shopkeeper's superpower turned out to be stealing. Oh, well, there you go then. <laughs> what kind of a shitty superhero is that? Stealing. Congratulations, I gift upon you the power to be a criminal. And your secondary superpower is the power to have life without parole. So what up with the Yang? The Yang was dug up a little over a year ago during an archaeological dig in Cairo. The expedition lead, Dr. Fritz von Pingpong, <laughs> was kind enough to donate the astonishing find, along with some items from the dig, to our museum. Within a few minutes of undigging the stone icon, Dr. von Pingpong and the rest of his party noticed a change within themselves. They had all gained superpowers! They soon discovered that everyone in the world had also gained these superpowers. Scientists later confirmed that it was indeed due to the unearthing of the mysterious Yang. Furthermore, they posited that in all probability, a Yin also exists, waiting to be discovered. In iconography, the Yin and Yang are polar opposites, maintaining a perfect balance. That is not how you spell balance. The prevailing theory is that, just as the Yang had a worldwide positive effect, the unleashing of the Yin would have a devastating effect on the planet. Needless to say, the whole of Egypt has now been concreted over, just in case. Any other questions? I hope not. Does that mean if I took it here, I could ruin everything? Because I could get the Yin. If I knew how. Hmm. What have you got in this exhibit? Seems a dumb question, because I'm pretty sure it's just the Yang, but why not? Oh, we have a selection of items from the archaeological dig where the Yang was discovered. We have a selection of displays reminding us how primitive we were all those many months ago. And, of course, we have the Yang itself. Do you think we could just have a borrow of the Yang, just quickly? Absolutely not. It's a priceless artifact, integral to human society. What's more, it's protected by a camera surveillance system and an impenetrable force field. Typical. Lovely chatting with you. Get your eyes off my tits, creep. Sorry. Sorry. I mean, I'm assuming I need the pass to get inside, right? Let's just check that. Let's check our assumptions. Sorry, boys, I can't let you through there without a ticket. Okay. They're at least a hundred million billion pounds each, which you two totally can't afford. The Yang is priceless and utterly unique. So... You want in, you buy a ticket. 
Dan. Have you got a hundred million billion pounds? Not on me, I'm afraid. I've got a soggy beer mat I pilfered from the limey while you weren't looking. Will half a soggy beer mat do? Sorry, that's not even remotely worth a hundred million billion squids. Come back some other time, yeah? Okay. 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 I have an idea. Oh god, I just realized to return. Does that mean we're gonna have to... Oh no. <laughs> okay. If I can make him evaporate, I could get his ticket. So if we go back to the lava dimension and pour some Lurva into my thermos, then perhaps I can do that. Let's just hope I can actually do this again. Let's see. Ooh, I think I can. Yes, 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 okay. There's got to be a reason I still have the thermos, and I'm hoping that's it. Okay, let's give this a shot. Dan, if I threw lava at a water man, would it turn him into a rock man so we could crowbar him apart and get a ticket out of him? Let me answer that question with another question. What did you get in GCSE, uh, GCSE chemistry? Good point. <laughs> Wait. You just make him evaporate, so wait, you won't do it? What the hell's the point of the lava, then? Life found a way. What? That's what happens when I try to use lava on the dinosaur. Okay. Um... Right, well, maybe I can just get my hand to kind of... Uh, get my buddy to just, like, reach his hand inside of him. Psst, Dan. Check out that guy over there. He's, like, made out of liquid or something. I know, dude. Give you a fiver to poke him in the belly. No way, you'd do it. A tenner. No way, man. I'll give you a tenner. Ew, no. Well, we'll just leave it at... Leave it then, shall we? Yeah, might as well. No, we won't touch him. God damn it, touch the liquid man. Okay, um, use the sticky zombie hand. I don't want to lose that inside him. Oh. Well, fine. <gasps> Sponge. Sponge. I've heard tales of your absorbency. Oh no, what have I done? <laughs> Jabba? You alright? Damn it, that one's not my fault. How was I supposed to know that'd kill him? What, throwing a sponge at a man made out of water? Yeah. What were you expecting to happen exactly? I, I don't know, not that. It's a little unexpected, I'll admit. But I'd have thought you'd be a little more used to all this bloodlust by now. Bloodlust? Well, water lust. Look, Dan, a museum ticket. That'll get us access to the exhibition. Oh, Jesus Christ, do we have to? Look, 
This is a nice dimension. Let's just stay here, yeah? We might get superpowers out of it. Bleh. Let's try that again. We might get superpowers out of it. You might get x-ray vision so you can look at girls taking showers and that. Well... No, there's no place like home. There's no place like home. And if it means going into a museum exhibition to get there, God damn it, we're going to do it. Fine, but just so you know, I disapprove of any attempts to make this fun. Fine. Come on, grumpy socks. You never know. There might be a light switch in there that needs pressing. Really? Woohoo! Let's go! Oh, he's not dead, is he? He's just... sleeping. I'm not picking him up. I'm not even entirely sure where he is or what he's become. I can help you there. He's gone to heaven, and he's become a dead body. Oh, right. But w what if we just squeeze him out again? Can I just... can I squeeze him? I can't squeeze him, can I? No. Hey, lady. Here's our ticket. Thank you, sir. Enjoy the exhibit. We certainly will, miss. Thank you. Come on, Dan. Oh, darn. I haven't got a ticket. Guess I'll have to stay out here. Have fun, buddy. Don't worry, sir. That ticket's good for our... for two visitors. <sighs> boring for two visitors, more like. Excuse my friend. He hates boring things. Thanks again. My pleasure. Wankers. Oh man, look at all the boring junk. Candid you, we're not here to assimilate knowledge. We're here to thieve that Yang and get home, remember? Stealing in a museum is still boring, you know. They're almost out. I know. We should begin phase four immediately. Agreed. Bagsy, I get to press the big red button. What the fuck does Bagsy mean? I've heard that multiple times now. <gasps> what did it do? I'd say that's working. Absolutely. Within moments, the subliminal hypnocode embedded in six billion human brains via the Hello World program will be activated. This is an exciting time for us, my friend. We'd better get back to the flat and prepare. Hey, everybody's a superhero. That person's superhero appears to be walking in place. He has an exercising superhero power. And that dude's just got a couple extra arms. Okay, well, this is a pretty good spot to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.